Hey guys, welcome back. This is another OnePlus 3 updated video. And guys, this is first time I'm filming my channel video with the Pixel XL. So it's a pretty low light condition here. Just one a tube light is running here uh, because actually I'm traveling. So here I'm getting very low signal strength also. I'm not able to post a lot of videos here. But uh, hopefully after a couple of days when I will back to my Delhi, so I will post videos soon. So in this video, we will be talking about the new Oxygen OS 3.5 fit community build. So this is just a change log we will discuss here. And some of the issues and points that I've uh, find out and I will be covering the detailed two days usage review maybe after 200 percent discharge that I used to do that so let's begin and do that so as you can see this is Oxygen 3.5.5 build here so uh, if you are installing on an Android device you will get the OTA update which is similar to size of 331 MB which I get uh, notified here and in case you are flashing here if your phone is rooted so the build size will be uh, almost around 1.41 so you need to download the complete flash so you will go that and after that so uh, the tour is still working i installed that uh, via twerp here i moved the recovery i flashed the file here then i rebooted the phone again to recovery and twerp was installed so stock recovery was not came that means twerp recovery is not replaced by the stock recovery and you can easily root that so super su i am using version 2.78 and the twerp version i am hopefully using 3.2.0-19 i'll put the exact link what i am using so this is how you can do that so installation wise is pretty easy not a problem here so first thing i found once i rebooted back again so um, booting time is normal so in the previous video when i compared my phone with the pixel xl so the same time was there uh, the device took somewhere near the one or two seconds so it take near the same time so i don't see any much improvement in terms of performance it's pretty much great as used to be okay now after that once i move inside i get the complete white theme instead of black compared to the previous build uh, there was no change on the theme yes so you can see this is the theme dark now so when you put up your phone you'll get this default white one here so that's the theme you will get so you need to change it back to the dark so that you will get to access to the amulet and also uh, this is what things were there so this is just a first thing i found so for that you need to go to the oneplus file manager and i was trying to play with that but i was not able to do that i don't know why so if i just send it here and try to connect some photos here so try to send that so it's creating actually a wi-fi hotspot so then it sends it but uh, i was not able to connect and file to my nexus 6p on the pixels too but it still just shows notification once files to be shared so it's sort of uh, you know uh, wi-fi transfer that you need to do without using internet so maybe i will work with that and come come back soon once uh, on my detail review now if you go inside the setting here you can say uh, there is a switch layout functionality here so you can change the launcher layout so it's pretty simple here if you just select it add your whole stuff is getting uh, so much uh, bigger here you can see uh, it's now all things are in very bulky and big the next change is in the default messaging application if you try to send or compose any message to any person so once you go to the send message and type any message here click on this attachment and you will see uh, there is a new option called updating your location so uh, this is actually google maps so internally uh, it tries to fetch a location this is similar to the google allo because there is also feature but i don't know it's not able to detect my location properly so you can it's pointing me to nigeria even though i have turned on my gps so maybe problems for that need to be fixed soon and there's a new change to the oneplus default dial application so that is a phone application so guys for the privacy concern i cannot disclose it right now because a lot of uh, important calls are there so this is one of my primary phone along with the pixel xl so i'm in short i'm summarizing uh, this is now similar to the android nougat style so maybe due to upcoming versions so uh, android uh, nougat features are coming soon yes so they both look completely similar just a couple of features are different are there so there is a new change inside the contacts ui too so once you open your contact and just scroll down you'll see a new uh, entry call view more call logs so click here it will show you all the possible call logs that you have with uh, that particular contact so that is a new feature here. and also there is a new change here as you can see inside the same contact there's a new entry called ringtone so it shows you the kind of ringtone that you are using and you can assign uh, different ringtones for each phone and there is a new community app now came to this you can see this is the oneplus community and i like it that way good uh, you can easily uh, use uh, your google account sign in and you can see you can easily read uh, your you can go here you can see all your devices are there so by default this is uh, 
OnePlus 3 so it is selected that so you can read exactly what the things are there so what is going on in OnePlus community if I just search here uh, say 3.5.5 so it should show me all the recent posts that are made to OnePlus community and along with that there is a new some changes like increased system stability general bug fixes so I'm um, keep on looking that thing uh, I just charge my phone here you can see and the previous build battery was not great uh, I was just getting only three hours of screen on time we will see this time so as usual guys I used to discharge my phone twice completely because on one shot you cannot say that this is sort of we'll catch you next video thanks for watching